Hi. In this video, I'll be showing how to lay out a facility in SOLIDWORKS. This is process is broken up into two different steps. In the first step, we'll take our normal SOLIDWORKS models and turn them into assets. These models can be parts or assemblies that represent the machinery or equipment that we'd like to place into the facility. And by turning them into assets, we can define how they'll connect to each other once they're inside the facility, as well as how they'll sit on the factory floor of the facility. The second part, which we'll be covered in the next video, will be how to actually lay out those assets inside the facility, move them around, and connect them with each other. So to start here, I've made a simple model of a floor cabinet that I'd like to turn into an asset. And to do that, I can go to Tools, and then go to Asset Publisher. Once I'm in Asset Publisher, I can define the ground plane for my model. This will be where my model sits on the floor. So in this case, I'm going to select the bottom face of this cabinet. For this cabinet example, I want to include some small rubber feet on the bottom of this cabinet that will lift it up by a little bit, but I've omitted them from the model for simplicity. So to factor this height into the asset, I can put in an offset value right here to offset the ground plane by one inch. This way, once I place the cabinet into my facility, it'll still sit at the same height relative to the other components as if the feet were still there, but I don't have to actually have the feet modeled here. Notice also that for the ground plane, the arrow is pointing outwards. I want to have the arrow pointing out away from my model towards the ground, otherwise my cabinet will be upside down once I insert it into the facility. After I've defined the ground plane, I can also define my connecting points. These connecting points will be how I connect the asset to other assets in the facility. For a connecting point, I need to define a location as well as a direction. And for the location, I'll select this edge. And for the direction, I'll select this face. When selecting an edge as the location, if I click on Add Connector, you can see that the connector will then go to the midpoint of that edge. I can use an edge as a location or a vertex. If I spin to the other side, I can select the other edge and the other face and then click on Add Connector. Edges and points are the most common options to use when defining the location of a connector, but for more complex models, you can also use sketch geometry. With these two connectors defined, as well as the ground plane, I can click on OK. That will confirm the asset, and now if I look into my tree, I can see this feature called Publish References. And if I double click on that, I can see the connectors in my model, and I can also see them listed here in the tree. So I have a ground plane and then two connectors. For clarity, if I wanted, I could rename these connectors to left and right, for instance. That might not be necessary for simple models like this, but for more complex models with many connectors, it can be very helpful to rename them. If I find I need to make changes, I can simply right click on Publish References and go to Edit Feature, where I can then change the ground plane or any of the connecting points if necessary. Once I'm happy with those references, I can save my model. And this is now an asset that's ready to be placed into a facility. And that will be covered in the next video.